Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Starting a new series today called Photo Light Magic with Speedlight Softboxes. This basically ties into a lot of questions I get here at ArtOfTheImage.com regarding lighting and how to light photos and what should I use to light photos and should I use a speedlight softbox and how do I do it and things like that. So I thought the easiest way to go about that is to uh, to answer these questions is to do a series on uh, speedlight softboxes and uh, basically show you what can be done with speedlight softboxes. Today's uh, we're going to do uh, one speedlight softbox with a Nikon SB26 fired through it and uh, basically going to be lighting a Lego dump truck that my daughter Lily got for Christmas. And uh, so basically you can see in this photo, this is uh, the room we're shooting in. This is my living room. Lots of ambient light coming in through the window. Um, although I'm not even going to control that with drapes or anything like that. We're going to control that entirely through the aperture and uh, ISO settings. And we're going to uh, overpower it with the Speedlight softbox that you see in this photo here. So basically, this is our setup. This is where we're shooting. I've got the uh, the Lego dump truck on the little corner table there. We've got some separation from it, as you can see, from the back wall, which is going to allow us to knock out our background, which you'll see in a minute here. And uh, this photo here was just some shots, part of some, some shots I took with my Sony RX100, just to give you an idea of uh, the shooting situation and what we're working with. Very uh, normal looking shot in the sense of, you know, could be anybody's living room, uh, ambient light, and this is what you would normally get using a camera on like program mode and just letting it automatically take a shot. And um, here's a more close up of the situation, the Lego that we're going to be shooting on the little corner table. And you can see, uh, you know, this is just shot with ambient light, no flash at this point. And here's an even uh, more zoomed in, more close up shot of it, uh, a little bit more head on situation. I was just trying to give you an idea of what you'd be able to see using a camera, just do with a, you know, a normal shot taken, zoomed in there. And there's another one, just a slightly different perspective. Now I'm going to be shooting these photos in this video using the Speedlight softbox and the SB26. I'm going to be using my Panasonic GH2 for this. So here's a shot with the GH2. And it's the uh, same situation. This is the ambient lighting, what the GH2 is producing here. This is an ISO 800, uh, F2.8 at uh, 1 100th of a second. Here's a little bit brighter one, ISO 1600, F2.8, 1 100th of a second. And this shot here, uh, ISO 3200, F2.8, 1 100th of a second. And it shows you um, that the table that the Lego is on just shows you what the ambient's going to look like. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my Speedlight softbox, my SB26, my Nikon Speedlight fired through that softbox. I'm going to have a reflector on the opposing side of the softbox. And um, here you see the first shot now with using the Speedlight softbox. This is just one single Speedlight softbox with a Nikon SB26. And you can see what we've done here. The drapes are still open. The lighting in the room has not changed. But this is shot at F10 at 1 1 25th of a second at ISO 160 and it's pretty much knocked out the background little bit detail on the couch visible not much and uh, basically the entire subject is being lit entirely with the speedlight softbox so we've got some nice uh, directed light some nice lighting here and you can see the dramatic difference in this shot from the previous shots with just the ambient light here we go again, uh, F10 now, ISO 160, close up of our little Lego worker. Again, one single speed light fired through a speed light softbox with a reflector on the opposing side. Close up now of the Lego dump truck. Now we're at F13, still at ISO 160 and uh, 1 1 25th of a second. We went up to F13 here and you could see we blacked out our background entirely. So the only light registering in the photo now is from our Speedlight softbox and uh, that is what's allowing us to knock out all the ambient light in the room. Another perspective here, we're still at F13. We've pulled back a little and a uh, little tiny bit of ambient light visible in the background but not much. So this is F13 ISO 160. And uh, here we have a close-up of our worker again. A little different perspective with the back of the truck showing. Again at F13. Again at F13, different perspective showing the truck. 
different angle. Another slightly different perspective. And we're at F10 here. And that's, you can look, if you, if in the background, you can see a little bit more of the detail of the background the couch is showing because we're back down to F10, which is letting in a little bit of ambient light at this point. Here we've got F10 again, and a little bit different, more head-on close-up of our little Lego worker and the front of the uh, dump truck showing to the left there. Zoomed right in, close up here, right in close on our Lego worker uh, and pretty much at eye level with the Lego worker. And we're at F10 here, ISO 160, 1 1 25th of a second. Pull back a little bit, Lego worker and the pylons still at F10. Another close up from a different angle, F10 and our Lego worker. And here we've got the truck on an angle from the one side. And we're at F10 here, and you can see a little bit of the ambient is illuminating some detail in the background, but not much. It gives a little bit of interest to the background. It's not solid black, but it is darkened right down. F10 again, a little bit different perspective on the truck. And again, more of a broadside view. And we're at F13 again on this one, and you can see the difference that the detail in the background is totally gone at this point. We're solid black background, and that's because as we've closed down our aperture, we're knocking out all the ambient light entirely. F14 now. We've got the front of the truck on a slight angle. Managed to minimize the reflection on the windshield, and we can see the driver in the front there. F14 again from the opposite side of the truck. Again, you could see our black background that we've knocked out all the ambient light in the background there. F13 here, ambient light is knocked out still in the background, full side view of the truck. Details nice from the softbox lighting. Now we've got uh, a little bit different view, an angle from the rear of the truck with the tailgate up. And uh, we're at F13 here. Background's nice and, and uh knocked out from the F13 aperture. Tailgate's down on the truck. We're at F14 here, solid black background. Side view of the truck, still at F14. Colors are nice and crisp. Basically, all the photos here, and there's been no editing on the color or anything like that. Uh, I've done a little bit of exposure or, or mids pulling in, in Lightroom if the photo warranted it. But for the most part, these photos are all out of camera. This is the color you're getting. It's one of the benefits of shooting with controlled lighting is you really don't have to do a lot of manipulation. What's coming straight out of camera looks darn good right out of the camera. Because we're at F14, our background is solid black there. And here we're at F14. From the angle I'm shooting at, you can see that in the left corner here, we've got a little bit of ambient light caught on something. Uh, and that's probably something that's a little closer. So it's got more ambient light than we didn't have the uh, separation on that. Um, but you can see the truck's still lit nicely. And we've got good color, good detail. And uh, even though there's detail showing in the background, it's kind of just a, a, a blurred detail that's actually kind of interesting almost there. Here we're at F13 again. And our background's pretty much knocked right out. A little bit of detail showing, not much. Most of our light is coming from our speed light softbox here at this point. A little bit of a side view here, still at F13. More of a head-on view from the side, F13 again. ISO 160 still, 1 1 25th of a second still. Here you could see a little bit more of a, of a head-on view and... In the side there, what you're seeing is, just to uh, give you some perspective, so our light's coming from the left, and on the right side here is the uh, reflector I'm using on the side just to put a little light back in on the dark side. Here we're at F14 again. The background is nice and black, dropped out. Side view of the truck. And that basically shows you, gives you a good idea of what you can do with one light. This is one Nikon SB26 Speedlight shot through a Speedlight softbox. If you're interested in getting a Speedlight softbox, we sell them here at Art of the Image. They're the best softboxes I've come across. Anyways, folks, hope that gives you a good idea of what can be done with a Speedlight softbox. This was one single Speedlight softbox. We'll get into some future videos using two or more. But basically, one Speedlight softbox and a reflector can do a lot 
for how your images look for putting some punch into them bringing out your color and really bringing out the image as you can see here with this uh, lego dump truck that lily got for christmas thanks for tuning in folks stay tuned we'll have some more in this uh, speedlight softbox lighting series and we'll also be back with uh, more posts and more videos on what's going on in the world of photography we'll keep you up to date with that here at art of the image.com thanks a lot